Well, in route uses automatic toolpathing to set toolpaths on parts created from DXF files. But to start this, I'm going to run a small application that I developed in order to load up a list of files for ATP automatic toolpathing to work correctly. I click browse. I go to the folder that I want and in this case this is the folder. This is just a bunch of files that I downloaded from the internet. It is a free pattern for a an Adirondack style chair. I click one of these, I hold control and A, I want to select this whole list of files. And they're all DXFs. I click open. So now I give it a material type and I want to do this in plywood. My thickness I'm going to make three quarters. My quantity I want two of each. I do want it to be able to rotate. I do not want mirrored and I want the front side of the part to be shown. I click add. Now all of these parts have gone over into this box, this combo box, and it's waiting to be added to the file, to be saved to the file. If I wanted more, I could come back up here and browse to a new folder if I liked and grab those also, but I don't want any more. So I'll just click cancel. Uh, since I have those files ready, I can go save file and my application just saved the file over into a file called atpfiles.txt on the C root directory and I will go to there in just a moment to get those. I come over, I click on the automatic toolpathing icon, I come to here this says design application, no active application. So I do want an active application. I want to use this one, KCD. Uh, for now, I'm not going to create output files. It, will, it would generate tap files that would be ready to cut, but for this demonstration, I don't need those. And it would take more time. Uh, I do want to create a printout. I have a free PDF printer here set up and I will create a printout so that we can see those and each part being labeled. I next want to go over to here. I want to click add list file. I want to go to my C root directory. I want to choose this atpfiles.txt. That's the file that we created click open and it loads all of these files in you can see that they're all there they're set up to allow rotation the quantity is two uh, the material is plywood if I had brought others in I could have set it up for MDF others up for MDF and left these alone and it would generate plywood for one MDF for another it knows the uh, difference I come over to here, I want strategy first. I want it to choose strategy first. My strategy order should be internal cuts first. And there is none listed yet, so I've got to go over to this one. For my defined layers, I have no layers defined, so I'll click use KCDW and it will pull the layers from the DXF files that are in that list. So I click use KCDW it knows that there was an outer layer and an inner layer. So I come here for an outer layer I want an external male cut that's cutting the parts out. I want for small parts I want an onion skin. It leaves a little bit of material there so that it doesn't cut completely through and my parts get ruined by jumping over into the router bit. I want my inner parts to be female cut, like holes and things like that. So I choose an inner 3 8 same tool, 3 8 inch end mill. 
and I do not need a small parts strategy for this. So that done, now I come back over and I have an offset female then an offset male for my strategies and those are correct. I want the angle to be 180 degrees because I want to lay it out with the grain of the plywood. In other words, I want my parts to be laid out on the grain. I don't want to cut across the grain. I set a gap of two tenths of an inch between the parts. Don't really need it, but I like to leave a little bit of a gap. The margin is what's along the border of the part, along the outside edge, and I set it to two tenths also. That's not necessary either. My plate size is the size of my material. It's 96 inches wide, 48 inches tall, and 3 quarters of an inch thick. I want to surface at the bottom of my plate, and my grain's running in the X direction. I think everything else is correct, so I just click Process KCDW. Now, if you look in the background, you can see the parts are laid out on the sheet. There are going to be multiple sheets. What I've got here is the PDF creator. So I'm going to say create PDF. I do not know how many sheets there are right now, but I'll say ATP1 and save this. It flashes up and shows us that part in the background, that, that sheet in the background. Those are parts that are on one sheet. Uh, I'll say ATP2. Save. Those are parts on another sheet. There's at least a third. ATP3. Save. And there's sheet three. And that seems to be all there is. Now I'll zoom in on this sheet and I'll show you that if you remember the in route one, this layout is exactly the same as it is on the in route page. Uh, if we flip back to here, you can see all of these parts laid out, and the uh, layout is identical to these. Now these numbers that are on here are showing you what these parts are that are on here. But one is going to be this part, so that's the left base. Two is part two. Three is part one. Four is this big part again, and that's the left base again. That's remember I made two of everything, and so forth. It goes on like that. Uh, these these drawings work very well to show you what parts are what. You just print this out, and you can go by this as to what the parts are that are in your cutout on your table. Uh, I'll come back to here. There are three sheets. If you remember, we printed three sheets. And that's how the automatic tool passing works.